And then you get to the kids who are standing in a group of five, talking, chit chat, and looking on their phone, and doing concentration curls, and doing sit ups, and crunches, and side bends, and bullshit mirror exercises. Boom! Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and click on the link in the description box below to sign up for the Tiger Fitness newsletter. Within a week of publishing this video, we will give out a $50 gift card to TigerFitness.com to one lucky person who does all of these steps. Boom! What's up everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com, CEO! MTS Nutrition. I go to the gym, right? And sometimes I go, and sometimes I go over during summer when kids are out of school. Got a lot of beginners, a lot of high schoolers in there, right? A lot of college kids who might not have ever trained before in their life. And I applaud them for getting in the gym and trying to better themselves and set forth some goals and some work ethic to reach that next level. Now, some of these kids come in here with phenomenal physiques. You're looking at 17 to 19 year olds who are starting to build lean mass, starting to gain muscle, their form's on point, they're in the squat rack, they're in the deadlift platform, they're doing some heavy presses. I don't normally see them doing concentration curls or anything like that. And then you get to the kids who are standing in a group of five, talking, chit-chatting, looking on their phone, and doing concentration curls, and doing sit-ups, and crunches, and side bends, and bullshit mirror exercises. Look, here's the deal. The best bases, the best muscle when starting training at a young age, the best muscle growing movements are gonna be compound movements. The deadlift, the squat, don't forget the hex bar deadlift, I do love those. Heavy presses, dumbbell press, overhead press, things like that. Using more compound movements, getting the musculature involved. When you start out with isolation movements, you will inevitably, inevitably form weak links. You will inevitably prefer, preferentially treat the muscles that you want to see grow. Your biceps, your triceps, calves, whatever. Okay, working the squat, everything's involved. Your core is tightening. Your deadlift is firing. Everything's on point. Your back will get bigger. Your lats will get bigger. Your arms will get bigger from those heavy rows. Your triceps will grow from those heavy presses. Squats activates everything. Your core will get stronger. Your torso will get stronger. Everything is worked. And of course, those tiny little chicken legs that you've been riding on this whole time will get bigger. What a lot of kids fail to realize, they're not on the Mr. Olympia stage. They're not Dexter Jackson. They don't need isolation curls. They don't need isolation tricep press downs. They don't need to do focused movements. What they need to do is a hard core, almost powerlifting based routine. Here's what I recommend for youth lifters. First of all, I have a link down below. A great three day a week program for beginner lifters. Now you might think more is better. And you might get phenomenal results training for six days a week, two hours a day. But what if you use the minimum effective dose, the MED, and was able to get the same results you'd get in six days a week, three days a week for one to two hours, including warm up, cool down, all that stuff. You think it's possible? It absolutely is. If you do the proper movements, the proper compound movements, and you initiate, activate, and get everything involved, you will make phenomenal gains. And also, as a youth, I know that you want to go out and have fun. You want to go to the beach. You want to go out to clubs. You want to have a good time. You want to be a kid, right? What better way to do that than to have a program that fits into your lifestyle? Train Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever three days work best for you. Use either an upper lower upper split, starting lower the next week, or use a push-pull leg split and really get it done. The thing is your movement should be focused on a basic core lift, okay? You should focus your leg day on squats, some form of squat, goblet squat, front squat, back squat, you name it. Your back day, your pull day should be focused on rows and deadlifts with some ancillary back work thrown in. Throw in a couple machines, have a little fun, try it out. 
Do a couple sets of curls at the end, but make sure you get those compound lifts. Your hex bars deadlift, your conventional deadlift. Get one of those two in there, right? Okay, push day. Don't sit there and do countless reps of this. Don't sit there on the bench press with your five buddies. Go in there, get some heavy dumbbells and bang out four to five reps of eight to 12, four to five sets of eight to 12 reps. Get in there, get out and get compound with it. When you're doing that pressing motion, you're working everything from your chest. Your legs are stabilizing your body. Your core is stabilizing your body. Your pecs are engaged. Your delts are engaged. Your triceps are pressing the weight up and your biceps are an antagonist to the movement. Instead of going and seeing what your good bros are doing, look in the gym, do what I'm, I'm begging you. Go to the gym if you're a young person or if you're someone my age and you're just curious, go to the gym, okay? Look around and look for someone your age. The person who has the best physique. Dude, I know my man Peter, dude, he's like 19 years old. Kids powerlifting, his physique is more developed than most 30 year olds because he's focusing on the basics. Sure, later on after two, three, four years of training, go on, do that bro split, get it on. Do some isolation movements, but for now, for now, while at your strongest, build that base, build your core and work everything. Three, four days a week is all you need, guys. Don't overdo it. Minimum effective dose. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, what do you think? What do you think the best system is? Number one, click on that article and link down below. Number two, let me know in the comment section or comment on the article. Beautiful thing is the rewards program at tigerfitness.com. If you comment on an article, that gives you a point towards a reward. The rewards can be anything from 8,000 points to go to the Arnold Classic with you and a buddy for all expenses paid trip, 5,000 points to get a training session, myself, Chris Jones, Chris Gethin, uh, Mike Rashid, Doug Miller, you get to choose one of them. We got other points to get backpacks, gym bags, swag, pills, powders, you name it. Anyway, let me know what you think. Comment down below. Share, like, and subscribe to this bitch. Be sure to sign up for our newsletter, and that's not a game.